Hello, good morning. It's Tuesday. I'm throwing some tumblers today. I want to either carve on them or just do fun glaze designs, so I'm keeping the form pretty simple. So I'm going to do that, and then I think I'm done throwing, at least like pop-up throwing. Um, I'm hoping to still even as I'm like starting to glaze and stuff in the next couple of weeks that I can still make time to get on my wheel because I do feel like I am progressing so I don't want to take like a month off and then kind of have to like get back in it again so yeah I'm excited great weather quiet morning my ideal situation so here I go done throwing now I just have to trim my little heart out tomorrow yay I'm at the kiln, gonna unload from the bis fire that went off yesterday. So fingers crossed, no cracks or bad things.
Hello, it is Friday and I feel all over the place in my head, not in a bad way, just life. Um, I finished making handles and attaching handles to my mugs. It has been a days long process because yeah, I just had a lot going on this week so I kept just spraying them and covering them to keep them the perfect softness so hopefully no cracks happen because I would be very sad because I spent so long attaching handles. You just forget that mugs take a minute and I forgot that. <laughs> um, but I'm glad they're done. I have tidied our living room area slightly. I will probably tidy some more and it feels nice to not have clay everywhere inside and on the patio for a moment. Um, yeah, I'm gonna let these things dry for at least a week, maybe, um, and then bisque them and then spend the next few weeks glazing. I might throw a couple more things depending on the timing of the pop-ups. There's one that I'm not sure is gonna happen and it would be the first one. So if it doesn't, then that would just mean I'd have more time to make a couple other things uh, for the other ones. So I feel good. just got in my candle order because I'm making holiday candles again and I'm very excited because I actually went with like a more wintry scent last time I did something that could be really any season and it smells good I still have some left so I'll probably still make more with those but this smells so good <laughs> like so much Oh my god, better than I could have ever imagined. Juniper fir and balsam spruce. It is like walking through the woods in November when it's just starting to get cold. And like maybe snow falls. Maybe there's the crunch of a pine cone beneath your foot. Like, I can't wait to make these candles. I have a few vessels that I planned as cups, but I'm not obsessed with, so I think I'm going to turn them into mugs, which is the beauty of pottery, or into mugs, into candles. So that's fun. And I just got so much uh, craft paper that I can recycle and use if I do an online sale again. Everybody wins. I can't wait to make candles now. Yeah! Hello, it's Monday. I had a lovely weekend and now it's back to work. I am going to the kiln to load up some greenware for a bisque fire. I'm leaving on Friday for a trip, so I'm trying to finish everything prior to that. And I will probably set it to fire tomorrow. I'm gonna check the dryness of some of them because I don't wanna fire it too soon. So I might just wait till later in, later in the week to actually fire it but I'm just gonna take it all over there so it's all in one spot and I'm pretty sure it will be a full load I definitely think I will be able to fit it all but it might be a little game of Tetris which is a giant part of pottery that I did not see coming um yeah 
I kept my week pretty light because I'm leaving on Friday and I didn't want to feel scattered and rushed prior to that. So grateful to past self for setting me up for a nice cozy week. I am just probably going to spend a lot of time doing back end prep of like what I want to do glaze wise. How many pieces I want to have at each of the three pop-ups that I'm doing next month and yeah just get uh admin organized all that goody stuff done and yeah I'm feeling great and I'm gonna go get to it happy Halloween Hello, the kiln is loaded. I did not get everything in it, but that's okay. Um, the stuff that I didn't put in it could probably use a couple more days drying anyways, so I think it works out for the best. I made these little smiley ornaments a while ago and now I'm finally painting them. So I just put wax resist around the whole thing and then I'm just filling in the actual smile. I'll probably do a few different colors, but I'm starting with black, and it's great. Just wiping it away. Magical. I don't use wax resist very often. I honestly forget about it, and I do not put it on the bottom of my pieces that are going in the kiln. And... I want to play more with it and figure out fun techniques, but for now, this will work great once I decide what technique I want to use for or with Rax Resist, I'll develop that, but this is making this process so easy. Still time consuming but a lot easier.
The kiln is loaded and it will go off tomorrow morning feeling good about it. Some of the stuff I pulled out today did have minor cracks, but it's all things that I kind of expected. So that's a bummer and I should, probably should have just not fired them, but I think there's still hope. And yeah, at least I can give them to people, not make them pay for it if it's like really bad. But yes. I feel good about this load. I might combine glaze tomorrow. I do have a meeting, so that's up in the air. But otherwise, I did everything I wanted to do before my vacation on Friday, and I feel very good about that. So I think I'm just gonna cruise till then. I am gonna go get some matcha. I have some errands to run today with one of my friends, and that's that. So. I'll see you post vacation. Thank you for watching. Hope you are having a nice whatever time it is. <laughs> see you next time.